everybody, it's Norad. I'm going to give you my 2010 TNA Genesis predictions. And I'm going to start first by saying uh, who I think is going to be the major acquisition TNA is bringing in. Uh, it's gonna. It's pretty obvious at this point who it's going to be. And there's two big names out there that everybody's speculating on. But I'm going to put my coin into the head of uh, Ken Anderson. I think Ken Anderson is going to be the major acquisition that's going to debut at the pay-per-view this Sunday. Uh, now the matches. First we got uh, Sean Morley, a.k.a. Val Venus, versus Daniels. Well, I think Daniels is going to take this just because... I think Sean Morley was brought in to put the young guys over and to do his job correctly it looks like Daniels is going to have to win this match. So that's all there is to that. Next is for the uh, TNA X Division Championship. It's going to be Amazing Red versus a mystery opponent. Now there's a lot of speculation of who this mystery opponent might be. I'm not expecting uh, this mystery opponent to be somebody completely new, but I do think it's going to be somebody that is going to make their in-ring debut on TNA, uh, in TNA. And I think it's either going to be either six, either Sean, Sean Waltman or Shannon Moore. Those are my two uh, picks of who this mystery opponent against Amazing Red for the X Division Championship will be. Uh, who will win that match? I believe the mystery opponent will win that match. It looks like Amazing Red is going to be uh, losing this belt on Sunday. I just have that feeling that it's going to happen. Uh, next we have uh, Desmond Wolf versus The Pope. I am looking forward to this match. This match is going to be amazing. Uh, Desmond Wolf is one of my favorite wrestlers in TNA right now. He was my favorite wrestler in ROH, and now he's my favorite wrestler here. And I think he's going to take this win against the Pope. Uh, next match, we got uh, Bobby Lashley versus Abyss. Again, same thing like the Sean Morley Daniels match. This really isn't going to be much of anything. Uh, expect Bobby Lashley to squash Abyss. That's what I'm expecting here. Uh, Bobby Lashley's going to take the win over Abyss uh, just for the fact that he's right now in this little storyline that he wants to get out of TNA uh, to pursue his MMA contract and I think this is actually pretty good for him. This is like the first thing that I've ever seen Bobby Lashley do where I actually think that he could actually go high with. Uh, he's never been healed before so this is the first time he's ever trying to be a heel and I think it's fitting in pretty well, just as long as he doesn't open his mouth, because his little squeaky little uh, girly voice uh, is not going to help his cause if he opens his mouth, which I think is why Crystal is uh, talking for him, which is a good thing, because Crystal's not that bad on the mic. She really gets the point across and makes you want to hate Bobby Lashley even more, and it's working. It's working quite well for him, so... We'll just have to see where it goes. But anyway, Bobby Lashley takes the win over Abyss in that match. Uh, next we have the best of three falls for the TNA Knockout title. Uh, ODB versus Tara. Ugh. I can't believe we got to sit through this match again, guys. This is probably the fourth time now, I think. Yeah, probably the fourth time that we've had to sit through this match. We've had to sit through this match... Uh, during another impact, uh, the three hour special last week, as well as a pay per view. So, this will be the fourth time that we have to sit through and watch these two wrestle. And all those other three times that they've wrestled have been horrible, atrocious matches. <sighs> when are they going to give it up? I, I mean, seriously, this is, this is getting ridiculous. These, th these two have no chemistry either because. Tara is too freaking slow and is scared to take bumps now since she uh, is trying to pursue an MMA career and she's trying to be a little bit more careful in the ring than she used to be. Or ODB, I don't know, is just uh, too afraid to hurt her. I don't, I don't know what is going on, but 
all their matches so far have been horrible, so expect this match to be just as special as those other ones. Anyway, I believe ODB is going to win and retain her title, just because I don't think at this point Tara even could have the title and that would even help her. I mean, she's the queen of the fast title reigns, you know. She, she had the belt before for only a couple weeks and then she lost it again back to ODB. It's ridiculous. Honestly, I hope this is the last time we ever see those two wrestle for a while for the title. Uh, next, we got the TNA World Tag Team title match between Matt Morgan and Hernandez versus the champions, the British Invasion. This could be okay. It's going to probably be a squash match. It's going to be probably a quick five-minute match with Matt Morgan and Hernandez beating the British Invasion for the titles and becoming the new tag team champions. Uh, again, not expecting much out of this match, but it could be entertaining just to watch the British Invasion get beat up for a while. Uh, next we have probably the worst match of the night and probably one of the going to be probably one of the worst matches of 2010 uh, so far and that is Scott Hall and Kevin Nash versus Beer Money. Ugh. You know, I prayed to God that we wouldn't get Team 3D versus the Nasty Boys for this pay-per-view, and we didn't, so I got one wish. But to have Scott Hall and Kevin Nash in a match on this pay-per-view, I don't know which one's worse, guys. Honestly, I'd probably have the Nasty Boys versus Team 3D in a like street fight or something like that I'd rather have that than watch Scott Hall and Kevin Nash versus uh, Beer Money and as a big NWO fan I am you know I am NWO for life but not 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 anymore with them you know it they're they're too old they're too beaten up they're too slow <laughs> they got nothing left they can't do anything they can't even take bumps anymore for crying out loud Ugh, this is going to be a horrible match. I hope it doesn't last too long. I hope it lasts only like for five minutes. Honestly, I don't even think they can go longer than five minutes. Anyway, now we get to the good stuff. We get to the TNA World Heavyweight title match. Kurt Angle versus AJ Styles. This is a, another rematch. The uh, third in the trilogy uh, with... Kurt Angle versus AJ Styles. The last time we saw them, this is that was during the January fourth special, and they were in the main event, and they basically put on one of the best matches in Impact history, and <laughs> that was a very very good match. And to think that they are now going to have a pay per view uh, st uh, quality match. It's uh, my expectations are high for this one, guys. This is going to be probably even better than the Impact Special match, and I'm I'm ready for it. I want to see this happen just one last time. And the stipulation with it is, this is supposed to be Angle's last shot at AJ's World Title in 2010. With that stipulation added on there, it's kind of hard to say AJ is going to walk away from this match, the champion. So. It's really a 50-50, guys. I really can't tell who exactly is going to win this match, but because of that stipulation on there, I have to give the majority, like 51%, to uh, Kurt Angle. So that is going to be my pick for the main event, to have Kurt Angle be the winner and our new TNA World Champion uh, after Sunday. Well, that, that's it, guys. That is my predictions for uh, this Sunday's TNA Genesis, and I hope everybody uh, buys it because it actually looks like a pretty good card.